Hey everybody, Evan here from Evan's Detailing and Polishing. Talking today about what I would do in my shop about detailing this lifted truck. What we got here is a 95 F250 Power Stroke here in Cali. Crazy, right? You never see lifted trucks out here. This thing's beautiful. It's got a lot of patina, a lot of age to it, and it's got a lot of dirt and grime on it. So we're gonna break down what I would do in my shop to get this thing cleaned back up. Of course, you always want to get yourself a good pressure washer, a good garden hose, anything where you can get some pressure built up. Uh, pressure washer is my recommendation. Uh, this one here is a gas model. You can also get some of the electric models. They'll work really well as well. Um, but I always like to start with the rinse. One thing I want everybody to remember is between every step, just rinse. It'll help so much better in the long run. You're going to get a lot better finish out of your products that you use. No matter what you use, you want to rinse in between each step. And always remember, never let your products dry. If they're drying, it means they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Rinse them off before they completely dry. You don't want to leave streaks. You don't want to leave any of that stuff. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse this thing down. I'm going to start by rinsing out the wheel walls, the wheels, and then I'm going to start from the top of the vehicle and work my way down. I want to be pushing all that dirt and debris from the top all the way down so it's not sticking to the sides when we go to get into the next steps. all rinsed down we're gonna get into our all-purpose cleaner I love this Savage uh, we tested it out in our shop really a great product for, by Renegade uh, we're gonna use it on the plastics and on the rubber and what sets this product apart from a lot of the other all-purpose cleaners out there is it won't mess up your polished wheels this stuff isn't gonna burn them isn't gonna streak them up like other stuff it's a citrus base it's got some soap in it now why does it have soap that's one thing a lot of these other companies don't have in their all-purpose cleaner the soap allows this product to be a stronger product without hurting your hands, without hurting the aluminum, without hurting your polish, this product's outstanding. Now we're gonna get into it, we're gonna scrub this rubber tire with a light brush, and it's gonna leave us a nice clean finish when we're done. So when we go to apply our rubber and vinyl, it leaves that nice clean finish. We're also gonna do it on the wheel wells. Use your brush to scrub any of the high traffic areas, anywhere where there's a bunch of grime. It's gonna help lift all that grease and dirt even better when we go to rinse in the next All right, now that we got our APC, our all-purpose cleaner all done, we got it all rinsed off, everything's looking good, we're gonna jump into our money shot, into the foam cannon, and we're gonna hose this thing down and hand wash it. Now we got a microfiber mitt here. I just rinsed it down so it's nice and soft. We're gonna hand wash this whole thing to get the soap done. We're gonna go over our wheels, we're gonna go over all of our paint, and then we're gonna go back to rinsing. still wet and before we dry the rest of the truck down I like to put my rubber and vinyl on my tires and in my wheel wells and let that water work into it this is a water-based product anti-static leaves a nice good clean finish I like to put it on while it's still wet so it leaves that nice wet finish 
Uh, if I want to, if you wanted to leave that matte finish, you can spray it on and wipe it completely dry and it'll leave like that nice matte color. But as you can see already, that matte color is already coming through from that all-purpose cleaner. So now I'm just gonna spray it on and do it real nice. Try to make it as even as possible while it's still wet. And then we're just gonna wipe it off the aluminum. that wheel all wiped off. Now we're gonna start drying off the rest of the truck. You can use the microfiber towels. Uh, I like to fold them into squares so that when I wipe, if I do get across something dirty, I can just flip to another clean side and I've got a bunch of different sides to work with. After everything else is done, is doing those aluminum wheels. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Rebel Red, the wax applicator pad, microfiber of course, and we're gonna use our cotton terry cloth towel to remove it all. And we're just gonna break it down. Like I said, these are beautiful specialty forges. Uh, what we're doing with these ones, it's just a quick maintenance, everyday stuff you can do uh, in between your regular polishes. This one right here is gonna turn out great. Uh, I can tell already just from it being clean. Um, we'll break it down and work it right in. If you see right here, this wheel is pretty well new. Uh, it's just got a little bit of road grime on it from a couple times out on the road. Uh, these specialty forges are beautiful wheels. But uh, this one here doesn't have any road grime on it, doesn't have any scratches, dings, dents, bruises, none of that stuff. So what we want to do is we're just going to go through a general maintenance polish on it. Uh, what I like to use is the Rebel Red. It's not going to haze over, it's going to leave a nice brilliant finish that I want. Uh, we're going to apply it with the wax applicator pad. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake this up really good. It likes to separate any good, real high quality polish is going to separate. Uh, you want to shake it up real good. Give it a good shake for probably two or three minutes. Once you get a good shake on it, it gets mixed together really well. Uh, you're going to want to apply some of the wax applicator pad. So now that I got, I've been shaking this up for a little while. Now that I've got it shaken, I'm going to open it up. Then I'm going to apply a little bit to the microfiber applicator pad. Just kind of get my pad a little wet. I'm going to start scrubbing it in. I'm going to switch sides here. So now I'm trying to keep as even a pressure as I can. I'm going to work this all the way through. You want to keep a nice even pressure on it. Work it till it starts turning a little bit of black color. Uh, you don't have to go crazy. These ones are still really nice. You don't have to scrub too hard. All I'm kind of doing is just trying to keep my hand as flat as I can back here and just working it in in the back side in the spokes here. I'm trying to use the two finger method. I push two fingers into all these nooks and crannies to try and make sure that I'm getting into all the corners that I want to get into. All right. Now that I got it wiped on, you can start to see it's turning like a light black. Uh, this, the hand polish is really starting to haze over really nice. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my white towel, my cotton terry cloth towel, and I'm going to give it a one quick wipe, real lightly, just to kind of thin the product out a little bit and start the drying process. And then I'm going to you know, continue to wipe until I can start to see it starting to lighten up. As you can see here, it's starting to get thinner and it's starting to wipe off, it's starting to dry up.
All right, and now that you can see this is completely wiped off, we got a nice haze-free shine that just looks great. Super easy to put on, super easy to take off, and make sure you're getting it all wiped off, and you're gonna have a nice haze-free finish. Got all right, everybody, I really hope you guys like these videos. This really completes my full detail process on a lifted truck. This truck is one complete polish. It doesn't take all that long, just a few short hours, and you can do everything start to finish on a weekend or going to shows. This is the, this is the system I recommend coming out of my shop. Check out RenegadeProductsUSA.com or check out their Instagram, Renegade Products USA. Also check me out on Instagram, Metal Polisher 3826 You can also follow me on Facebook. That's Evans Detailing and Polishing. We've also got many locations across the country. Still looking for more. And if you like these videos, stay tuned to more videos. Keep in tune to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Evan Stager Metal Polishing.